on to a new version of We Are Today, checking out the new creature in Creatures of Scenario. It's a fun little creature called the Astrothi. And, um, well, let's just go ahead and start off with stats because they are the interesting things. It is 600, and six, six, 600 max health. I'm, I'm sitting here talking BS right away. Uh, I'm looking at the wrong side. Anyway, 600 max health, 150 stamina. 16 speed, 50 damage, 40 appetite, no bleed, mutation is 5, and um, it is a uh, 3 out of 3 on night vision. I'm, I'm losing my ability to speak there for a second. Uh, night vision is 3 out of 3, and it's a tier 1 out of 5 creature. I think for a tier 1, th these stats are really good, and um, night itself gets a 9 out of 10. It could be a little bit of refinement to the speed, I would say, or maybe increase the damage a tiny bit, but it's it's really good. And this is a toxic creature, by the way. So when when you attack with it, you you, you inflict to toxin to your enemies. Uh, it has a cool little ability as well. Let me just press Q to show you. That's what it does, and what that does is it makes area sleep. Area sleep basically puts the enemy to sleep for like a few seconds I would have imagined to uh, stop it from fighting you and then you'll get an advantage so you'll do that and then you'll fight it and you'll be injecting toxin to it so it's a really good creature in terms of um, surviving which is good because it was a pain in the butt to get and that's what we are um, here for then so the colors right off the bat, this is the default color, by the way, is really nice. I like the way it looks. It, it's really cute. It's got great colors. This is a big, big butterfly, really. And we're going to go ahead and listen to its calls. Because I feel like we need to do that. So let's go ahead and begin with call number one. <laughs> Woo! That was interesting. Let's go ahead and hit number two. Okay, and here comes number three. And last but not least, number four. Okay, the calls are indeed interesting because they have great sounds. I don't know if they're reused actually. I think they might be, but they, they actually are great. So I think it makes sense for this creature to have those calls. And by the way, this creature is a mission creature. I don't know if I mentioned that. Uh, the way you unlock it is by simply being any fl fly flyers, any any fly creature, so any flyer, and then wait for winter uh, or fall. You can do it either way. For those who don't know, fall is autumn in the rest of the world. <laughs> uh, so you either wait for that or winter, and then. You need to make sure it's nighttime as well. So, fall slash autumn, nighttime, and then make sure you're a female as well because that's the important part. A flyer, female, has to be fall slash autumn, and then you just want to wait for one of your eggs to be ready. And then during nighttime, if you have a friend or something, uh, ask them to help you with this and then. Turn them into your creature, and then that's it. You'll unlock the creature. I, I did it on the first try. I don't know if there's a chance or anything to it, because I know it's a mission to do that. So, I just got it right away. But uh, when you do that, you unlock the ability to hatch it from, from the herbivore gacha and the toxic gacha. Which, um, you, 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 you have a higher chance getting it from the toxic than you do the herbivore. I can just put it that way. It was really difficult to get this. <laughs> But, um, yeah, that's how you get it. Personally, I think you should just get it after completing the mission. But I guess you don't. I guess they don't think we're worthy of that. I'm putting you to sleep. How dare you. Um, okay, well, you don't want to cooperate with me, so why should I be nice to you? Okay, so the putting to sleep didn't really work too well on the NPC, but uh, if it was a player, it would have worked beautifully. 
and you guys know it. So, uh, let's get to some rating, shall we? Because we've talked a little about the creature, we've talked about the way it looks, its stats, and how you get it. So, oh, I will listen to its calls. Next up, I think it's time for the rating. Well, actually, we've got some more things to do, and that's to see what setting is like. Okay, it's the same as many of them. Oh, look at that cool little... Okay, and then lay-in is... Alright. And the nest is probably the... Yeah, the nest is the same as a uh, herbivore nest. And, uh, and, and, and... I don't know what Zed does exactly. It does nothing, according to here. But that's what that does. You can, like, hover. Funny enough. So that's cool. So let's get to rating now. So, stat wise, I already said it's 9 out of 10. So, look wise then. So, from the way it looks, uh, I'm giving it a. a um, uh, I'm giving it a 9 out of 10 as well. It looks really good. It, they really outdid themselves with this creature. It is really nice. And that's why its final score, then, if. If the score for looks is 9 out of 10, and also the same for stats, then it's a 9 out of 10 overall. Am I right? Great little creature. Like it a lot. It says, Spring Raining Volcano. So I must be at the volcano, I think. Yeah, I am at the volcano. Um, yeah, really cool creature. 9 out of 10. I like it a lot, and it's great to fly with. I mean... It's a butterfly. It makes cool little white lines when you fly. It's also kind of fast when you fly, to think about it. It, it feels like if you were flying a... A... Um, a, a Venus on Dragon Adventures, it feels the same as that. So, that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. And... What I also like is... It, it, the walk speed isn't snow either it's like a decent walk speed let me show you again like do you see how fast it walks and then you combine that with running look at that you run really fast and that's a great thing I like it I think that this creature is good and if you're able to get it go for it I mean I recommend it it's a simple creature to get minus the grind for for the gacha spins because it took me a good amount of tries to get it, but there you go. So, with that said, really, after I fed my creature a little, <laughs> but with that said, I think we're in a perfect place to end this video, and so, therefore, I thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. And if you did, feel free to help me out by subscribing and liking the video. Because, you see, we're on the road to 1,500, and we're so close. And subscribing, whilst it might seem a little bit silly to you, trust me, you, you, you help me. Helping me is, you, you do more for me than you could imagine by just hitting that subscribe button. As dumb as it sounds, it's that easy. And all you do is hit that button. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, goodbye.